So you watch a tutorial, you understand every step, but when you want to create your own project, it feels impossible. You have good idea, but you don't know where to start. You watch different tutorials and you have a working prototype that is almost like what you want, but it's not perfect. And the main problem, it is not yours. This is how I felt when I began to make video games. And I wish somebody told me what I will tell you in this video, because all I can remember from those times is... <laughs> But now, I can write my own code while enjoying my favorite TV show or some good music in the background. In this video, you'll learn why writing your own code feels impossible, and in the end, I'll give you exact steps on how to overcome the challenge you have. My name is Alex, and let's begin. As of this day, I have more than 15,000 of students, and from time to time, I receive a question, which essentially is about one thing. How do I write my own code? If you have same question, if you feel like you understand most of the tutorials you watch, but you cannot create your own project from scratch, then most likely you entered a tutorial hell. But don't blame the tutorials yet, tutorials are a very important part of learning process and personally for me, I cannot learn things differently. Dry documentation only makes me confused and bored, so if it weren't for that guy who told me to click here and click here, I'm pretty sure I would be dancing baby shark in the kindergarten somewhere in China. Yeah, that's actually me doing that three years ago. So, you need to understand this. If you want to write your own code, first you need to watch others do it. And you need to practice, but more on that in a minute. I think it's better to follow tutorials so you can collect and absorb knowledge. Game development is not easy and it will take time to learn, same as any witchcraft. If I would want to build a car now, do you think I would go and try to build my own car from scratch? Nah, I would see how other people would build a car from nothing, just so I have rough idea of how things should work. But let's say you watch a lot of tutorials and you are confident in that. Still, you try to create your own project and your brain just goes silent. Answer to this challenge lies in the definition of a tutorial hell. Let's define it so we are on the same page. Getting stuck in a loop of endless tutorials without applying what you learn is called a tutorial hell. If you don't see it, answer is right here. Without applying what you learn. Stay with me, it's important. Most likely, you cannot create your own project simply because you don't have enough practice. If I wanted to build a car, just watch someone building a car is not enough. I would have to try to put parts together, I would have to use tools, I would have to do it with my own hands so my brain would adapt and I would get used to do new things. Basically, I would develop a muscle memory, but in my brain. And if there are some challenges and something is not working, it's only better. That's why tutorials with bugs in it are actually helpful. You might not believe it, but when you have a bug in the tutorial and you cannot get answer from a creator, you are forced to find what is wrong by yourself. And this is the moment where you learn the most, I'm telling you. The most solid knowledge I've got in the past are those where I fixed something by myself. And spike of dopamine you have when you do that is just incredible. What I'm trying to say is that practice is your one-way ticket from a tutorial hell. You might tell me, how do I practice if I cannot write my own code? Well, actually, you can write your own code. The problem is that you try to fly before you learn to walk. What I see in behavior of my students a lot, and the very same thing I had in the beginning, is that we want to create the most incredible game ever. We want to create Skyrim. We want to make multiplayer RPG. And we want to make, I don't know, maybe a hit like Clash of Clans. And we want to do it with a shortcut. If I would want to build a car, and I would tell you that I want to build a Lamborghini from scratch, you would laugh at me, right? But if I would tell you for now, I just want to build a simple car. Would you agree it is achievable? From there, I could try to make my own car. Again, super simple, but my own. Then, with experience, I'm sure I could modify and upgrade the car. Do you see where I'm going with this? To start writing your own code, you just need to build a simple project, a very small project. I mean it, it should be super simple. So you go ahead and watch a bunch of tutorials simply till you feel confidence to make something similar but your own. As I said, it should be very simple. This is my first project I created by tutorial. And this is my first personal project. You can walk and you jump, you have fallen platforms and you need to get to the final point. That's it. You see what I'm saying here? You need to make super simple stuff. Maybe just a guy who catching coins falling from the sky. If you feel like this is too difficult, maybe you are not ready yet. 
and you need to watch some more tutorials. And it's okay. Watch some tutorials where people show you how to make a character walk. It's okay if you take their script, because you are just learning. You watch somebody make character walk, then you make your own character walk. So basically, you have a simple goal here. Create and complete a small project. If you need help with that, you can grab my free course and you can try to make this game. Once you've done it, go ahead and make something similar and maybe simpler, but by yourself. If you didn't quite get what you've learned, do it again. Make another small project. In order to fly, first you need to learn how to walk. And each new project will be like a new step that is better and better every time. So make small project. Once you feel like it's not a challenge for you anymore, try to scale up the project. And this time, add a bit of functionality, maybe a fighting mechanic or a simple timer. You need to grow the knowledge base you have, increase amount of tools you have in your arsenal. And what to do next? Actually, you'll know that. I'm pretty sure if you create a couple of your own projects, even small one, you'll know what to do next. You'll get the idea on how development and learning are connected together. And you won't need my advice any longer, which possibly can kill my career of a game development instructor, but it's okay. I'm happy if you guys will become independent developers. Uh, by the way, I'm making courses and you can learn how to make video games you've seen in this video. You can check my website for more. I want to say thank you to my students and patrons and give special thanks to a friendly robot. Leave your comments below and I'll see you in the next video.